start with this one. I'm doing it the way I did them for years. And that is simply going to drill it and chisel it. Now, three quarter inch depth on the mortise works. Works real well. So I got a half inch bit and I'm setting a stop on it three quarters of an inch right to the tip of it. This is now set. I'm going to load this puppy on the drill. I'm going to drill them and chisel them. Alright guys. The other thing I rigged up here I got my half inch brad point drill with stock collar on it. Then I also got my other little rig here. And it simply took an inch and a quarter dowel, whatever, about halfway drilled a straight hole in it. If you want me to drill a straight hole, you can hang it up. I can't do it after all these years. And I made it work fit loosely up and down over the bit. And then from this point to this point, it's three quarters of an inch. This makes me kind of a neat stop. Now to start on that center line, this is uh, Now you see why I, did, I wanted to hold that bit, just a little, the hole in this dowel a little bigger. And that's just simply so that I can hang on here. I don't have a spinner around. Continue down, keep on going, getting the worst of the meat out. My favorite is the brad point, just because it's quicker and hogs it better, and slips. It's a half inch bit, got a three quarter inch more. I always leave room to screw up, because I always leave room to screw up. I watch most of these guys and I get real intimidated because they never make a mistake. I ain't good as they are. I'll get a battery, I'll be right back. Yeah, I like drills that come with dual batteries. going to start cleaning this thing up. Just start chiseling it out. Good sharp chisel works here. A nice wide one just kind of helps keep the thing a little straighter. But you notice I'm not trying to take it all out in one shot. I'm getting down here to my cabinet. Now, I happen to have a corner chisel. Some of you may, some of you may not. Just a 3 8 corner chisel. Now, I'm going to ease back into this. All right, I got too much meat there. Take me 
a smaller chisel and work my way back to my line just to get some of the worst of this out. Now I haven't gone all the way back to the line. I'll get that in a minute. Sneak up on it. Don't try to do it all in one shot. Just, just keep going. That didn't get too big a bite there. And you know the neat thing about these mortises, when this bed goes together, they all heat. You can't see them. Just kind of go down to there and get all the worst of it out. You know what? I don't know about you guys, but I ain't never been able to chisel a straight line straight down. I just can't do it. No more than I can drill a straight hole. I can't draw anything either. I can take a saw, cut out anything I want, any shape I want, but I can't draw it. You get the point of this. Now, I said I can't chisel a straight line. Well, I can't. So here's a little help for me. I just got me a piece of wood, old scrap piece of wood that I know this face and this face square to each other. Clamp that puppy on there. I'm not going to bore you with you sitting here watching me just keep chiseling. But here's the thing. I can take this chisel, staying flat to my side, and get straight, flat sides on my mortise. Thing this little block of wood does it gives me a little bit of leverage for cleaning up this bottom right here without pushing on my sides like that, which could dent and roll the sides of my mortises. That's real nice. All right, I'm not gonna bore you if you're sitting here watching me finish cleaning all this wood out. That's it. 